Hey y'all, welcome to the Pungo Prairie. Now my air compressor won't run and I got a sandblast a Pelican size so Fran can paint it for one of her customers. Now I get this compressor running in a little while, I'm going to cook up a yard bird with some crazy Asian marinade that my buddy Steve Conrad brought me. So don't go nowhere because you don't want to miss this. Now most of my buddies love to hunt and fish, and most of them are pretty darn good cooks too. And I guess it's just our redneck nature that we like to concoct up our own marinades and rubs and sauces to put on all those fish and all that good old wild game we kill. Now one of the many blessings of living on the Pungo Prairie is that about three and a half miles to the east is the Atlantic Ocean. And my buddies and I have spent countless numbers of days off in the deep catching all manner of ocean game fish. Among these include yellowfin and bluefin and big eye tuna. Now it can be a 60 mile run out to where the fish are. So lots of times on the way home, we'd whack off a big old chunk of that fresh tuna and whip up some sushi to enjoy on the ride home. Now one of the best chefs I know for cooking up any kind of fish is my good buddy Steve Conrad. About 20 years ago, he created a delicious dipping sauce to go with all that fresh sushi that him and the guys were eating up on them long boat rides home. And he calls it his crazy Asian marinade. And he's bottling it up now and selling it all over the world for everybody to enjoy. Now Conrad's crazy Asian marinade's not just limited to fish. Put it on some pork loin or some beef ribs. I'm going to tell you what. You grill off some chicken wings, they'll be the best you ever had. It'll make your tongue slap your brains out. Now I've marinated up in a Ziploc bag overnight a whole cut up fryer in the Crazy Asian Marinade. And I put it on a rack in this little roasting pan here. Now I'm going to start out by covering it with the lid and putting it in a 400 degree oven. Now I'm going to leave a chicken in that oven for about 30 minutes for now. Now I got some other good stuff here to finish that chicken off with. We're going to steam up some white basmati rice that's blended with some wild rice, some red rice, and some brown rice. And we're also going to saute up a little bit of this baby bok choy and some of the crazy Asian marinade and some chicken stock. Now I took our giblets and our neck, it was packaged up with that chicken, and put them in this little pot of water here. I'm just going to bring it to a boil and then simmer it to make our stock. And we'll use this stock for steaming up our rice and sauteing up our baby bok choy. Now it's been 30 minutes and I've taken our chicken out of the oven, took the lid off of it, going to drizzle on just a little bit more of this crazy Asian marinade. Now I'm going to put the chicken back in that 400 degree oven for another 30 minutes with no lid on it. I'm going to clean our bok choy here and get it ready to saute in a pan. Now that our stock's done, I'm just going to pull out them giblets and that neck and let them cool a little bit. I pulled the meat off of our chicken neck and now I'm just going to kind of chop up this liver and this gizzard to put in that rice when we steam it up. I got two cups of our stock boiling up in this little pan and I'm going to add a cup of rice. And then the gizzards and the neck meat and the chopped up liver. Stir it all in. Now I'm going to put a lid on that rice Turn the heat down to as low as I can get it and let it sit in there and just kind of steam for 13 minutes. Now it's very important, do not lift the lid on this rice the whole time you're cooking it. Now our 13 minutes is up. We're going to turn the heat off of that rice, set it aside, and let it set for another 13 minutes. Now it's 26 minutes total cooking time for fixing up this rice. 13 minutes over the low heat and 13 minutes resting over the no heat. But be sure you don't take the lid off from the time you start it till the time you're ready to fluff it up 26 minutes later. Now I got this little wok sitting on the burner with the heat turned on high. I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of peanut oil. Just kind of coat the inside of that pan good with that oil. Okay, our oil's nice and hot. I'm just going to kind of stir fry these little heads of this baby bok choy. Just kind of roll them around in there a little bit. Stir fry them. Okay, just a couple minutes is good, and add a little bit of this hot chicken stock to it. And about another couple tablespoons of the crazy Asian marinade. Just give it a toss. Put the lid on it, 
Turn the heat off. It's been a good hour. I think our chicken is ready to take out of the oven. Now, ain't that pretty? All browned up nice. Now, I'm just going to fluff up this rice. Now, see there? When you use my method, it don't stick to the bottom of that pot at all. Just arrange some of this rice on our little platter here. Isn't that pretty? Man, that smells good. Add our chicken. And put a little greenery around it with this bok choy. And that, my friends, is a platter full of Crazy Conrad's Crazy Asian Oven Roasted Chicken. Dear Lord, thank you for this fine chicken and my good buddy Steve Conrad that created this delicious Crazy Asian marinade. And all the fun that we have making these marinades and rubs and cooking up all this good food and just bless it to nourish our bodies now and strengthen us for a life in Thee. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now you know I gotta try me some of this. Oh man, let me tell you something. That crazy Asian chicken, that's crazy good right there now. And that, girls and boys, is what's cooking on the Pungo Prairie. Pull that rubber mat off and that pelican is ready to paint and hang on somebody's beach house.